Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create AI videos with using FlexClip AI Video Editor. And right now, I'm currently inside the website itself. And these are the previous sample videos. Let's um, check one out right now. Just looking for one. I think I'm going to go with this one. So click on Preview. So here's the preview of the video earlier. Before I play it, please take note it has 16x9, 9x16, and 1x1. So here's the video itself if I play it. By the way, I have removed the audio so it won't be too loud for you guys, but it also has audio. Let me try capturing it. Give me a second here. Enabling my audio feed right there. So I'm going to capture right now. Give me a second. Pretty awesome, right? Now let's try one more sample. I'm gonna go with this one. Give me a second. I think this one works better. Click on preview. And this one is on their YouTube channel. If I click on play right now, it has a full screen option and this is the audio. Let me just press increase it. And this is the audio right now. I'm gonna play it right now. Pretty awesome tool, right? Now I'm gonna teach you how to do that with a simple prompt. Let me just remove the input right here so you won't have any feedback. That being said, once you're here, simply click on create video and you'll be um, prompted with this one. You need to choose a ratio, which is by the way, I really appreciate Flex Clip on having this feature because you can have a preview on how it looks like or how it will look like because not everyone is familiarized on aspect ratio. So I'm going to go with 16 by 9, get started, and I'll see you once inside. So once you're inside, you'll be prompted with this import media notification. So this is just um, FlexClip asking you if you want to upload some media, for example, videos, images, or audios, files to use on your video. But for now, I'm going to remove this one. But if you want to use it, please don't let me stop you. So this is actually a very good AI tool. It's really foolproof. First thing you want to do is go to tools and look for AI video generator. Here we have it. So it has image generator, video script, text to speech, record voice, and everything. It didn't even have branding. I'm going to cover all of those in my following videos. But for now, we're going to focus on video editor. So click on video editor right now. And you're going to have an option to AI text to video or article URL to video. Imagine if you have a YouTube video and you want it to be remake, just use this one. But for now, I'm going to go for AI text to video and simply um, input some text here. So describe the video you want to generate. I'm going to simply type in the seven wonders of the world. I'm going to make it as vague as I can because I want to see the limits of this AI. So the seven wonders of the world is the only prompt I have. And now there is an option right here. If you don't have any inspiration, use these examples. These are some templates generated samples. However, I'm going to go with this one. So once you're done there, just choose a subtitle style. I'm going to go with the yellow one and simply click on generate. It's currently analyzing the video. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. To be honest, that took less than two minutes. And we have our timeline or outline right here. Now, to be honest, I'm really shocked on how FlexSip works because this is really amazing. Imagine you have your five second clip on the first one, four second clip on the second one. You can adjust the duration, trim the video, replace the media if you don't like it. You can add a scene even. You can even delete a scene if you don't like. Also, if you choose the six um, circles or dots, if you hold them, you can rearrange your scenarios, like so. Now, for some reason, I'm just going to look for a sample here. I think this one is a photo, not a video. Rather, if I click on it right now, I can change it to any media I want. For example, I want this one. I can simply replace it. But if your choices or the one you like is just not here, you can um, change it up. For example, 
I'm gonna go for museum. And then click on enter. I think I got it wrong. Anyway, sorry about that. Basically, if I'm wrong with the spelling, but now let's just say I'm gonna go with this guy right there. I can just simply click on replace. And I have it replaced right there. Now going back on the timeline or outline, it's over here. You can expect or change the duration. You can add a scene. Okay? Now once you're satisfied, simply click on add to timeline at the top right section. And you'll go right here. Now once you're here, you'll see the preview all together. This is your... I call this the cursor inside the video. Because you can have your preview... You can check it how it looks like. So on the very first part, by default, you have it right there with the background music. So I'm going to enable once more my input so you guys can hear the preview. So I'm going to play it right now. So I have posed a video on this part because this is a 26 second video that will take so much of our time. And with that being said, since we have our audio, we have our subtitle, we have our media. The one we're missing right now is a voiceover. We like the one I'm doing right now. So with that one, you can just simply click on subtitles. Because by default, you might click on audio, right? So please choose on subtitles and there we have it. Subtitle to speech. There have some, um, we have some languages here. The voice is right here. Voice style right there. This is the text. I'm going to go with Jenny. I'm going to click on generate. It's currently adding it up. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. We have it right here. Currently we have our voiceover enabled. Let me just open up my input. So you guys can hear it. I'm going to play right now. Also, another thing to take note of regarding the subtitle to speech is that again, if you click on that one and choose your specific voiceover and the language, of course, you can preview the sound before applying it on your media or timeline. Now, let me just enable my capture of the audio or audio capture so you guys can hear it. Let me try enabling this one right now and let's um, both try them on. I'm going to go with this one. I think Brandon. Let's do it right now. It seems clear that SpaceX has a significant lead over its competitor. There we have it. Let's try one more just for the sake of the discussion. I'm gonna go with this one. Ryan, multilingual. Much of Europe was engulfed in a sweltering heat wave. Awesome, right? Again, just simply generate them and then it will um, take them on the timeline itself. Now we have it right there. If you want to adjust the volume, you can simply just drag it right up with no problem at all. If you want to decrease the duration, for example, this guy right here, you want to decrease it, you can just decrease it like so. No problem at all, guys. So have fun right there. So for example, you want to trim, simply click on that um, scissor icon. You can delete this one. You can lower it down with no problem. Now that being said, for example, you want to add some effects. Highlight the video or highlight the scene rather. Sorry about that. And click on effects choose uh effects that you want so it will be it will be applied with this one so there we have the effects another way of having it is make sure you highlight it and look for this filter icon right there you can add sapphire adjust it adjust the colors right there this is by your own liking now for some reason you're satisfied with this or you want to add some more elements you can do so by simply drag it right there Basically, you can add everything here. For example, the subscribe button. You can simply add it right here. Enlarge it and have fun with it. Transitions are right there. The layer, the duplicate, or the delete button. The only down part about this one is you're going to have a watermark on the upper right section. Now to remove this one, you're going to have to pay the subscription plan. Let me just check my, the pricing before I end this video. Now we can still add some more text here, for example. This one right here, the creative design sample, you can simply add it right there. You can add some more here. So please, again, the um, quality of the video will be depend by your own perspective. That being said, if we're satisfied with this, simply click on export. 
and you'll be good to go. Now, before we end this video, I want to um, take this time to give you the pricing. So um, I'm going to get back to you once I'm there. So welcome back to the video. These are the pricing right now for uh, annually. These are for monthly. By the way, I cannot really show you how to export it because we're going to need the paid subscription for it. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.